Hey everybody, it's Fernando. And Ripley, of course, how could I forget? Ripley's a bit cranky right now because he's shedding. His old skin is sloughing off and being replaced with new skin. So basically he's getting a brand new birthday suit. The dead skin will eventually fall off on its own, but I want to give him a little bit of relief by giving him a dry spa massage with a soft bristle toothbrush. Ripley just seems terribly uncomfortable and I'm sure is quite itchy as well. He rubs against all of his furnishings to help with removing the dead skin. He doesn't eat as much either, which is not unusual for Ripley or most reptiles while in shed. Now, while you may notice a change of behavior during this time, and again, it's not unusual, I still keep a close eye on Ripley's behavior just to make sure that there are no complications or anything to be concerned about. While scratching his back, I apply little to no pressure as it's not intended to peel off skin that is not ready to fall off. I just give him a gentle back scratch and help with the removal of the skin that is already detached. I'm sure it feels good too. Shedding is a totally normal and slow process for reptiles and should be of no real concern unless the dead skin is not falling off on its own. If this happens, there are a few methods you can use to give them a helping hand. You can give them a warm water bath, spritz with water daily, which is what I like to do. And there are products available in pet stores that help with reptile shedding as well. Here's a big chunk of skin I'm working on. Another thing is that it's not unusual for bearded dragons to eat their skin once it's peeled off. Um, in the wild, they do it so that they don't leave any trace for predators to track. Um, also, they do it to take in any remaining nutrients that are left in the skin. I've never actually witnessed Ripley doing this, um, but it wouldn't surprise me to see him doing it. Now, one thing I want to stress, and I cannot stress this enough, please do not pull or peel off skin as this can cause serious pain and damage. And again, I cannot stress this enough. If you're concerned that your beardy is not shedding properly, I recommend taking them to a vet that has experience with exotic pets. Here I am trying to give him a little snacky snack, but he is just not having it. Well, that's all I have for you today. I wanna thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and please be nice to each other. Talk to you later.